Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's do another in-depth perfume review. Today we are going to be talking about a dupe for a Tom Ford fragrance that I have smelled in the past that actually kind of was a little bit of a memory trigger for me. Um, this particular fragrance from Tom Ford reminded me a lot of a, um, it actually isn't a perfume, it's just a like cologne splash type product that my Oma used to use when I was a young girl growing up in Germany. Um, my mom had me when she was very young, so I um, ended up spending a lot of time at my Oma's house while my mom was working. And um, so I became very close with her and my Oma was um, pretty feminine in a lot of ways, but also just kind of a tough old German bra, right? Like, um, but she did love um, some beauty products that I have always kind of like remembered and kept in the back of my head. And whenever I think about, you know, specifically the the original oil of Olay beauty fluid, like when I see that at the drugstore, like I think of her. Whenever I, whenever I smell that fragrance, that like rose, beautiful, soft, powdery floral rose fragrance of, um, does it even have that smell anymore? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't purchased this particular product in years. Um, but uh, yeah, it just, it kind of takes me back to, um, spending time with my Oma and you know those smells are just such a wonderful memory trigger for me. I just have the fondest memories of spending time with my Oma. Um, Oma if you're not familiar is grandma in German so um, anyway one of the few fragrances that my Oma used to wear and I remember seeing the bottle on her um, dressing table in her room um, was the, uh, it's called the 4711 Eau de Cologne by Mulehens. Um, this is a fragrance that has actually been in existence for I think over 225 years at this point. And um, I remember this smell on my Oma. It was very fresh, very clean, very citrusy. And when I was at, I don't remember what department store I was at, but I was at a department store, probably Nordstrom's, just kind of sniffing through some of the higher end perfumes. And I came across the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino and um, it immediately triggered that memory of my Oma. So like, I feel like those two fragrances share some of the same notes. And so I just kind of became obsessed with that particular Tom Ford fragrance. However, Tom Ford is not cruelty free and um, it is very important for me to purchase cruelty free um, whenever I can. And so I went on the dossier website and you guys, they, they had it. <laughs> they had a dupe for the um, Tom Ford Neroli Portofino and theirs is called Citrus Neroli. So I am going to go through some of the notes of the 4711 Eau de Cologne um, and then kind of compare it to this. So um, if you ever used that particular like cologne splash like I remember that it, it wasn't like a spray like she used to just like splash it into her hands and then just like pat her body with it, um, which was such an interesting way because I had only really ever seen perfumes being sprayed on, but you know, this was like a different type of product. She just like freshened up with it like throughout the day. Um, so we'll talk about some of those fragrance notes um, as well and just kind of compare. I'm not saying that the Neroli Portofino or um, in this case, the Citrus Neroli is a dupe of the 4711, but I do think they share some similarities. So if your Oma or your grandma also grew up, you know, splashing this cologne on herself, um, maybe you wanna pick this up. I mean, it's been a wonderful memory trigger for me. Like I said, I have beautiful memories of growing up, spending a lot of time at my Oma's house, and I miss her dearly. She passed um, many years ago, and um, yeah, I just, 
I wish she was still here. <laughs> Sucks getting older, you know, losing people is a major bummer for sure. So anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about Dossier's dupe here. First of all, I feel like this is another one of Dossier's dupes that are pretty spot on to my nose. Now, admittedly, I had only smelled the Neroli Portofino a couple of times and it was in store. Um, so there could be some more subtle differences that maybe I'm not remembering, but I feel like the overall like final like vibe on me smelled very similar to when I tried it on at Nordstrom's. So um, yeah, you guys, let's get into it. Mm. By the way, I will link Dossier in the description box down below. Um, I am a Dossier ambassador. Um, that link down there, when you use that, like I don't get a commission from that or anything, but Dossier uses it to track sales. Um, in full disclosure, every once in a while, Dossier does send me some PR here and there, but I also purchase from them myself. So um, anyway, check out the description box down below and um, there will be a link to where to find all of the Dossier fragrances. They have a lot of really great dupes. Um, I think they're definitely worth checking out for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the fragrance notes here and then I'll kind of talk a little bit more in depth about the lasting power of this one, um, so longevity, the projection, and then I'll compare it to the 4711. Okay, so our top notes here are Neroli, Bergamot, Mandarin, and Lemon. So starting out with some, some good solid citrus there at the top notes. Your mid notes are Orange Blossom, Jasmine, and Lavender, and the base are Musks and Amber. All right, so. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the nice fine mist that comes out of these Dossier bottles. I will say with Dossier, you're, you're not paying for like fancy labels and packaging. Like the label is pretty, um, sorry, I'm trying to like get this to focus here. Why are, there we go. The label's pretty boring, right? Like not, not a whole lot going on there. You really are paying more for the actual product inside the bottle, but I will say, the bottle itself is solid. It's a nice heavy glass bottle and it also comes with one of those nice magnetic lids, but the labels admittedly kind of boring. So if you only purchase perfumes for the bottles, I don't think that dossier is going to be terribly exciting for you, but the amount of money that you're saving is significant, especially when it comes to Tom Ford, because oh man, like even I think like the smallest size of like the Tom Ford do, uh, bottles are like what are they like in the $200 range crazy expensive so anyway I'm not saying they're not worth it but I'm just saying if you're on a budget or you just don't feel like spending the money I, I think it's worth checking out the dupes from Dossier and they have a number of really great dupes from Tom Ford all right so nice light spritz uh, yeah this this just reminds me of my Oma every time that I put this one on I just it just takes me back to being like a seven-year-old spending time at my grandma's house. Like, oh, you guys, th this is a very citrus heavy scent. And if you're not a citrus fan, I would say, mm, I'm not sure that this is gonna be one that you wanna check out. You definitely also want to be a fan of bergamot to really enjoy this one but definitely one of the first few notes that hits you is that beautiful neroli, the mandarin, the lemon, the citrus notes are heavy in here. That bergamot, like it, it's there. <laughs> like you're not gonna be able to like, um, like get past that in this fragrance at all. So make sure that you're a fan of the citrus. As it starts to dry down, that orange blossom and that jasmine come out a little bit more. I will say the one note that I do not detect in here or that my nose just isn't picking up, and it might be just because I, I don't care for lavender at all. Um, I, I don't smell the lavender in here. No, this is just mostly that orange blossom, that neroli, the, the citrus notes that I mentioned, like that's really the bulk of what you're getting here. And as it continues to dry down, you do get a little bit more of that musk that comes through. It kind of warms up those citrus notes a little bit. Um, and there is amber present in here for sure. Again, I think the amber helps to add a little bit of warmth to the citrus so that it's not just like a super fresh fragrance and nothing else. Like 
it has a little bit of depth to it for sure and it's just really lovely like it's very pleasant definitely a fantastic spring or summertime scent this is not something that i would wear in the fall or the winter at all i am quite seasonal for the most part with a few exceptions when it comes to my personal fragrance i certainly am seasonal when it comes to home fragrance but you know like with um with personal fragrance i give a little bit of more a little bit more leeway but this one here very much spring and summer i would probably never touch this one during the fall and winter so just kind of a heads up all right um i'm gonna tell you the notes that are in the 4711 just so that you can kind of get a sense of why i think this one reminds me of the neroli portofino or in this case the citrus neroli um so the notes are um lemon orange and grapefruit bergamot rose rosemary sandalwood musk neroli and pettigrain so they don't share all of the fragrance notes but you can kind of see where they're in the same family um this certainly has way more lasting power than you're ever going to get from the 4711 because that's literally like like just a cologne like you just it's almost like you yeah you splash it on yourself and the lasting power just isn't there, which is why I think I frequently saw my Oma like reapplying it, you know, especially if she was like outside working in the summer, like this was something that she used to just freshen herself up. Um, this here is definitely got some better lasting power than an eau de cologne ever will. Um, I would say the lasting power of this one is quite good. I can certainly get at least five hours into the day before I feel like I need to reapply this one. And I feel like the projection on this one is pretty good. This is one of those fragrances that people are going to notice. Like you're not going to wear this and just kind of like slink in behind the scenes. Like people are going to notice this fragrance on you. I think there are some people that might find it maybe borderline kind of headache inducing not necessarily cloying but you know like it's a stronger fragrance the citrus notes are very prominent and like i keep saying make sure that you enjoy citrus because that is the bulk of what you're getting in here but once it dries down it really does transform into a slightly softer version of what you're smelling when it's in the bottle or when you first spray it on your skin. Um, yeah, overall, I really enjoy this one. I would never, I would never, even if I wasn't cruelty free, I don't think that I would spend the money on the Tom Ford myself, but this one was affordable enough to where it was like justifiable to, you know, test it out. And this one is one that I think that I am going to probably reach for not terribly frequently, but whenever, you know, maybe when I'm missing my Oma or, you know, when there's a really bright, sunny spring or summer day, like those are always her favorite days. Like applying this, I think will be just a great memory trigger for me and a connection to her. So yeah, I talk a lot about fragrance and like the power that, you know, that it can have in terms of triggering memories. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why I love personal fragrance so much. Like it just, it brings me back to happy times. Um, and don't get me wrong, sometimes it can remind me of sad times as well. But I think it's just a wonderful way to um, jog your memory and to be able to take you back to a time that you know you maybe have some really fond memories of or maybe even some sad ones but you know that's okay it's all a part of life <laughs> you have to embrace all of it there are ups there are downs and i think this is one that i'm really glad to have in my collection because i think for me this will be absolutely lovely when it comes to remembering a very important person in my life so anyway those are my thoughts on Citrus Neroli from Dossier, which again is a dupe for Tom Ford um, Neroli Portofino. Please let me know if you have tried th this one and what your thoughts are. If you have the real thing and you have compared it, will you let me know what you think, um, what you think in terms of is, is this as close of a dupe as I think it is? Um, from what I recall, it's pretty spot on. Um, I like the way that it works with my body chemistry. Yeah, it's just it's really enjoyable not like not like like i said not a holy grail 
but definitely a nice scent to have in my collection. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here for today's video. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new for more fragrance content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.